What's up everyone? Today we're going to be doing a clean and cook on the Spanish mackerel. I also have a couple ribbon fish I'm going to do as well. That's going to be my very next video. So if that interests you at all, make sure to check out my page because that video will be up right after this one. Um, I have no idea how that's going to turn out. So we're just going to wing it, see how it goes. I'm going to put these guys back on ice for right now. So the first thing you want to do is make a cut straight down right behind this fin here, gently, until you feel the backbone. Then you're going to turn your knife 90 degrees right along the backbone, just cut straight back. All the way down, just like that. And flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. Nice and gentle, don't want to cut through that back down there. Boom, just like that. So the next thing you want to do, now that we have our two fillets here, is if you want to skin the fish, you go ahead and do that. I'm not going to skin the fish because the, fish, uh, the skin on these fish is really thin and really good and it's actually pretty hard to uh, get off as well. You can see it right there, super thin. Um, so we're just going to leave it on. There is a bone line right here. You just run your finger along there and you feel it stop right there. So what I'm going to do is cut on this side put on that side like a little v-shape just to get rid of that bone line I'm going to do that on each fillet. Then you can kind of just pull that center line out. That has the bone in it right there. Get rid of that. Do the same thing on the other fillet, nice and easy. Just pull that right off. You can eat the stomach meat. I like to cut it off. Just makes a nice cleaner look. Do the same thing on this side. So both these fillets are both good now. Just need to cut that little fin off and that'll be all set. We'll be ready to hit the frying pan. Make sure you rinse off your fillets, get that blood off of there. All you gotta do now, put some butter in a skillet. We're gonna turn that to about, about medium heat on the stove. Let that heat up, we're gonna come over here and season our fillets. Spanish mackerel is really good tasting fish by itself. It's just kind of plain. It doesn't need a whole lot of seasoning. I like to use this stuff, just a little bit of Cajun. Put the red on there. That should be good. All right, now it's good. It's all heated up and sizzling. Our fillets are good to go. I'm gonna do one at a time. I can do both at a time, but I'm saving the other for later. For this first sake of this video, I'm going to do one um, face down first, or uh, meat side down, skin side up is the way I like to do it. It's only going to take about two minutes on each side because they're not big for it. Then about net 30, going to flip it over. Oh yeah, looking good. Cooking a little bit faster than I thought, so it's not going to need two minutes on each side. Give it another minute, it should be good to go. It doesn't get any better than that. So 
stick of white, not fishy at all. The seasoning is perfect. Just enough flavor. Kind of like, um, it's better than flounder. It's better than walleye. I don't, I mean, it doesn't really get much better than this.